The floor debate in the Wisconsin Assembly over the Republican mining jobs bill lasted most of the day on Thursday. But Democrats did not put up much of a fight choosing instead to get on record with their predictions of what will happen after the bill becomes law. It may be 10 years before one job is created, but what we will do is we'll create a lot of jobs in litigation, and uh, frankly, it's a lawyer creation bill if you, if, uh, if you really want to know. And this bill, as a former gold miner, I can tell you, is fool's gold. There will be no mine, there will be no mining jobs, and there will be no taxes paid to the citizens of Wisconsin. You are gumming up our environmental laws, you are creating uncertainty, and you are creating a gold mine for attorneys. And you are going to cost our state mightily defending this new body of uncertainty that you're putting forward in this 200 and some page bill. These threats of legal action are not to be taken lightly. Over the past two years, liberals in Wisconsin have made it a routine to challenge Republican passed laws in court. They did it over collective bargaining reform, they did it over voter ID, and they seem poised to do it over mining. And I start to hear commentary like, well, go ahead. The bill's going to pass and it's going to end up in court. My goodness, what a sad state of affairs if that's the attitude about every piece of legislation that we're going to pass. The assembly passed the mining bill Thursday afternoon and it now heads to Governor Walker to sign into law. The focus will now move to the biennium budget. That debate is expected to last into the summer. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.